Center for Young Leaders in Africa, in partnership with Green Forum, has convened women and youth-led CSOs in efforts to advance women's political participation in Zambia. And the tool that we are using to achieve this is through co-creating an action plan with diverse women and youth-led CSOs to form a coalition. I think this coalition provides a platform where various efforts uh, towards women's involvement in politics can be consolidated and be able to create a unified power towards the fight for women's involvement uh, in representation, especially in the political sector. Um, for me, as an individual who is very passionate about women's involvement, this gives me a platform where I can be certain of the solidarity that is uh, not just the solidarity from other institutions, but also that find this as a common ground to pull up a force, to pull up uh, support towards an initiative of women in politics. In 2021, I had contested for um, a position of member of parliament in Kawata constituency. I was an aspiring candidate of the political party and I realized to say there's not much effort that is put in to ensure that women participation is seen to be something that organizations and social movements and NGOs in particular should be pushing. I was the only aspiring candidate um, in that political party. I did not have any organization that came to my aid or organizations that champion women participation to come to my aid and just assist me throughout the process of adoption. So this coalition coming together, these different CSOs coming together to work on this coalition is going to help women, not just the coming elections, but even going forward. So it's a milestone, it's a breakthrough, and it's more of a solution to some of the problems that women and other young people are facing those that are taking part in politics. Despite this initiative of forming a coalition for women in politics being initiated by Center for Young Leaders in Africa in partnership with Green Forum, it's not a silo agenda. It's an agenda for all the women and youth-led CSOs that decide to be part of the coalition. The women and youth-led CSOs that are here today will co-create an agenda. An agenda that is meant to advance women's political participation. My expectations for the collision are, um, first of all, is just to appreciate the organizations that have come into the room today. We have about 15 organizations that have come today to be part of the process of forming the collision and structuring it and agreeing on what actions we want to take uh, post today. Um, one of my expectations is to see the coalition members each bring in their expertise when it comes to developing the action plan and agreeing on what uh, particular issues that may be policy related or legal framework relate related that we would like to um, address that have continuously impacted the participation of women in politics in Zambia. One of my second expectations is also to see uh, more open communication channels when it comes to the work that we're doing for women in politics. So we all work in different thematic areas but all working to ensure that women in politics thrive.